Welcome back. This is the fourth video in the Agent Elite Max series, and in this one you'll dive deeper into your lead list. So let's jump right in. From your dashboard you can easily access your lead list by going to the left hand sidebar and just hover over the lead list button and click on it and it'll open right up. The view you're seeing right now is highly customizable. For example, there's several columns available like name, pipeline stage, creation date, the last active date, whether or not they subscribe to your mailing lists, their ratings, and of course tags. If you want, you can add additional columns like avatars, lead status, lead type, or source. And if you have a team or brokerage account, you can even have a column for agents. To get the most out of your lead list, you can use filters to target specific clientele. Now, because this is a brokerage lead list, multiple agents may be involved, and you can filter by agents if you're looking to focus on specific leads. For instance, if you only want to see unassigned leads, go ahead and apply that filter. Or you could choose to view leads assigned to specific agents like Gary or John. You also have the option to filter your leads by type like whether they're buyers, sellers, or renters. So let's say that you want to narrow your focus to just renters. Just apply that filter and you'll see only the relevant leads. Now keep in mind that this is a demo account, so your real list will likely have many more leads to work with. The lead status filter allows you to target active, inactive, or deleted leads. You'll notice that this is defaulting to active leads. You can also filter leads by the lead rating. Now the lead rating is assigned by the system based on the client's activity while they're on your website. Another useful filter is the lead source which shows you where your leads originated like landing pages or a lead vendor. You can even filter your leads by pipeline stage so you can target leads based on exactly where they are in the process from uncontacted all the way to closed. You can also target bookmarked leads that you're actively working on, making it easier to return to them. Plus, you can filter leads based on their subscriptions to your mailers and then organize them using tags. For example, if you're looking for first-time buyers who are pre-approved, you can simply apply those tags and narrow down your list. As you can see, some of these leads have not been contacted, so let's do something about that. Once you've filtered your lead list, now you can target specific leads. To do that, click on that lead and open it up. Now let's say you reached out to Freddy, but you couldn't get a hold of him. You can mark this as a contact attempt and then move on. Next, you reach out to Bob. Bob answers and you have a short conversation, but he's not really serious about moving forward immediately, so just add him to your nurturing status. Next, you've got Shauna, and you reached out to Shauna and you set up an appointment. And now you want to add her to your nurturing stage and your buyer follow-up campaign. So on the subscriptions page, under marketing automation campaigns, click add new. Now from the drop-down menu, select buyer follow-up. Now because you know she's looking for a home in the Auburn, California area, you can set up a saved search for her. So again, on the subscriptions page, under email alert activity, click add new. Now you'll need to scroll to the top of the page, but there you'll see save searches. Again, select add new. Maybe in your conversation, Shauna mentioned that she wants to live in Pollock Pines and that she wants a three bedroom home. So that's what you'll name your search. Now you'll need to specify that you're looking for three or more bedrooms and you'll designate a specific area. Now you can do this by zip code, but in this case we're going to use the polygon tool. And we'll connect the dots around the Pollock Pines area. And as soon as that polygon is closed, you'll see that it immediately zooms in and starts populating with properties. Now scroll up and click Save and Close. And you'll see that saved to the property organizer, and you should be able to see your saved search there. You can also set tasks to remind you to follow up. 
So to get started, scroll to the bottom of the page and in the to-do field, click new. Now this task is to call Shauna and invite her to view some properties in her save search for this weekend. We want to assign this task to her agent, John, and we want to set the due date for tomorrow at 4.30. Then hit save. So we've covered how to access your lead list, how to filter it, how to customize the display, how to add people to your subscriptions, and even how to manage individual leads. The only thing left is to show you how to import leads. Now there's several ways to do this. The best way is to reach out to our customer service team and they can help you bring over your existing lead list. Of course, you can also add leads individually. We have a whole other video that's already made to walk you through that process. In the documentation for this video, there'll be a link to that video. If you have other questions about the Agent Elite platform, or just simply want to know more, go to our knowledge base at help.agentelite.com. Thanks for joining me today.